The deep dark web is our gargantuan iceberg that lies just beneath the surface of the web we all know. I'm Scott Schober. Join me in this deep web diving expedition in your two minute cybersecurity briefing. The World Wide Web is a vast and always changing network of web pages. In the early days of web, there were no search engines and people relied on finding information using pages with long lists of HTML links. It was cumbersome and the links were often outdated. Modern search engines like Google, Yahoo, and Bing use programs called spiders that crawl the web and find links between the main page on the site and its link subpages. These publicly viewable pages are part of the surface web, but they're just the tip of an iceberg. Cybersecurity experts know the vast majority of web pages are inaccessible to search engines. Hidden pages include unpublished blog posts, forums that force users to log in before they can view the contents, and new sites that archive their stories for paid subscribers only. Collectively, these resources hidden from search engines are called the deep web. The information locked away in the deep web is valuable. Doctors could access information currently hidden in archived databases about new research and medical procedures. Aerospace engineers could find data on how to build safer airplanes. Unfortunately, cyber criminals also use the deep web for communication and to hide their illicit activities. So if the deep web is an index by normal search engines, how do users navigate it? The answer lies in browser software called the Onion Router, or Tor for short. Tor allows users to access .onion sites. It also anonymizes users by bouncing their web traffic through a randomized series of encrypted servers located around the world. This makes Tor users much more difficult to track online. Like the deep web itself, Tor does have legitimate users. The software was developed by the United States Navy to protect whistleblowers, dissidents who live under repressive political regimes, and others who would be in danger if their identities were compromised. To learn more about the Tor and the dark web, subscribe to our weekly video two-minute cybersecurity briefing podcast on iTunes or YouTube. Stay safe.